Okay guys, for step one, you're going to need your M545 socket head hex screws. Four of them. This is them. You're going to need four of the M5 washers, which are those. You're going to need your aluminum profiles, the left and the right. And when you build this, you're going to have the front facing you. So your left and your right are actually your left and your right your base, and your four millimeter Allen key. You're gonna be using these types of screws throughout the assembly process. The kind of screws that have the nut that you loosely put on and align into the bars of your printer. When you do this, make sure they're loose enough and put them in there so they fit into the slot. When you tighten the screw, it'll turn the nut so it secures it onto the bar. Here we have our base that we just put together. Now we're on step two. For step two, you are going to need M5 times eight hex drive round headed screws, which are these. You're going to need two of them. You're going to need the operation screen assembly, which is this right here. You're going to need M4 times 20 socket head hex screws two of them. It's these guys. You're going to need the switching power supply assembly, which is this. And if you are in the United States, you're going to want that on 115 volts. Over here, you can see where it changes between 115 and 230. So just go ahead and pop that down to 115 if you're in the U.S. You're also going to need your three millimeter Allen key. Now, the next step is to prepare the Z-axis limit switch. So you're going to have the Z-axis limit switch, which is this, and your 3 millimeter Allen key, which we just used in the last one. For this step, you are going to prepare the following parts. T8 Acme lead screw. There's only one of them, so you can't miss it. The M4 by 18 hex drive flathead screws, two of these. The Z-axis motor assembly, which is this right here. And a two and a half millimeter Allen key. Like, There's some playing around when it comes to this step. The two screws that are, that are at the uh, coupling at the base of the long screw, the bottom one is holding the screw in the coupling and the top one is adjusting the tension on the screw. So when you slide it up and down um, the axis, you're going to either get tension or it's going to go easier and easier depending on how tight or loose that top screw is. So you're going to have to play around with that a little bit. This took probably longer than anything else on the printer. Okay guys, buckle up for the next step. This is a doozy. X-axis bearing installation preparation. Prepare the following parts. Aluminum profiles B1, which is this right here. M4 by 16 hex drive rounded head screws times four. It's these, along with the washers that come with them. The extrusion assembly, which is this big hunk that came in there. The nozzle kit, which is already attached to your bed. 
under your bed I should say. The timing belt, the pulley assembly, the belt tensioner, and your two and a half millimeter Allen key. When putting together this step, make sure that you put your nozzle kit on before the uh, pulley assembly because the directions that come with the printer are not very clear about the order of the steps and I had to take my pulley piece off and then put the nozzle kit on and then reassemble the pulley. So just make sure you're doing those things in the right order and it'll save you a little bit of trouble. Okay, now we're going to take the belt tensioner and attach that to this axis. Once you have the belt in place, you're going to want to make sure that it's taut. It should be like a guitar string, tight. So you'll see that they have these little slots. You're just going to take it out, pull it tight, and pop it back in again. Okay, to tighten the belt, you're going to want to use the tensioner and you're going to push it over as hard as you can and then tighten the screws. Once you do, this belt will be very tight. Okay, this is step nine, the X and Z bearing assembly. So for this, we're just going to place this axis onto our frame. And as you're doing that, you're going to be inserting this long screw through this hole right here and you can loosen up these to do so. Okay, so when we put the XZ bearing assembly on, when you lift this over the top, you have to force it on, and then you're going to use this, and you're going to loosen this as well as these until it can go up and down, loosen it or tighten it. Okay, so now we're going to fix the gantry frame. For this, you're going to need M5 times 25 socket head hex screws and the washers, the profile end caps, which are these, the aluminum profile B2, which is this, and a 4 millimeter Allen key. This is going to go on top. You're going to make sure that the counter sink holes are facing up.
Now we're going to put together the spool holder. We're just going to use the plastic nut that came with it. Put it on. You're going to want to make sure that you mount this to the side where you're feeding your PLA through because you don't want to have your PLA stretching across everything. So keep it on the right side. Now when you put together these, you're going to put this on and then you're going to just loosely put a nut on. Make them vertical, lined up, so they fit into the slot, like so. Okay, at this point your assembly, mechanical assembly, is complete. Now's the time to do the wiring. So, these wires um, you can't see them too good, but they all have letters on them that are going to correspond with parts on your printer. If you're following the assembly chart that came with your printer, not all of the wiring is labeled correctly. However, it is really easy to figure out. I believe it was the first three that are labeled in the instructions, and the second three that you'll see are loose hanging. They are not listed on there, but you'll see where they plug in because they can only fit in one place. So you shouldn't have any trouble with that. And don't forget to plug in your PTFE tube at the very end up where you're gonna be feeding um, the PLA in into your printer. You can see it right at the top of the box. There's like a little white uh, plug sticking out. You're just gonna insert the PTFE tube into that as uh, far as you can until you feel it stop. So that's the end, we got through it. The whole mechanical part is built, all the wiring is in place. So the next video we will talk about bed leveling.